And a lot of events that's happening throughout the nation, both uh, abroad as well. Uh, we've done some, took some measures in place to enhance our security throughout the uh, next couple of weeks. You know, with the Children's Parade only three days away and our day parade 10 days away, we've took measures to ensure the safety of all our community. And what's important is that the people that are visiting our gas Brother event, uh, if they see something, they say something. You know, we encourage uh, everyone coming down to enjoy themselves and have a great time. But in the same token, if there's something out there that concerns you, there are officers throughout the route. They'll have the fluorescent vest on, contact one of those guys, and let them mitigate that circumstance. The ultimate goal is for everyone to come out and have fun and leave with a neck full of beads. <clears throat> to help us with our partnership to spread the word, we have several members standing here with me that I'd like to introduce or announce. Uh, Bill Gig uh, Giggs King with Pappin Distributors. Daryl Staffany with Event Fest. Dr. Stephanie Russell Kurds. The Dean of the University of Tampa, Tom Finland with Tampa Prep, Ellen Snelling of the Alcohol uh, Coalition, and Nikki Yorkinson with Seminole Rock, Hard Rock Cafe. Along with that partnership, we also partnered with the Hillsborough County School Board to spread the word. I will say there is a zero tolerance for alcohol consumption by minors. So in order for us to help spread that word, uh, we enlisted the support of our superintendent, Mr. Jeff Akins. So right now, I'd like to bring Mr. Jeff Akins up to say a couple of words. Jeff. Thank you, Chief Ward. We definitely are a, a big partner in this. Of course, it's a, it's a great um, few weeks for, for Tampa, but we also know our kids are directly involved in the festivities, so we want to make sure they have fun and they're, they're, they're very safe. Let you know a few of the things that we've done over the last uh, week or so. First of all, Mayor Buckhorn and I and we recorded a phone message that will go out to all of our high school families early next week, urging students to be safe and reminding them of the, of the city's zero tolerance policy for minors regarding drinking, as, as Chief Ward had just mentioned. Gasparilla is a wonderful Tampa tra tradition, and we want our students who plan to attend to have fun and be safe. We also want to thank our law enforcement partners for visiting our schools over the last couple of weeks sharing the message of safety with our students. Over the past six years, Tampa police officers have provided educational presentations to nearly 60,000 students. This year, our law enforcement partners will visit 24 schools and groups. Tampa police officers conduct assemblies with our high school students, reminding them about the law. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office does similar uh, types of presentations on the morning shows in our schools, reminding our students not to take any uh, unnecessary chances. Students are taking the message very seriously. Our principals um, have shared this with me and they feel like the students have received a very positive experience from these assemblies and these uh, messages on the morning show. Uh, they leave understanding what's expected of them and how police will be handling the crowds. The Gaspar Gasparilla Pirate Invasion and Parade is a one day event, but our students need to know that the decisions they make that day can affect their life for years to come. And so we've been making sure that we get that message across to our students uh, across the entire district as we partner with all of the, the great partners up here before you today. We want to make sure our students, yes, they have a great deal of fun, but they, they need to be safe and they need to do it right. So that's the message we're carrying on for the Chief. Thank you. Our next speaker is one that uh, most of you already know, Sir Rex Ferrier of the Mystic Crew. Uh, we can't do this event or put on this event without that crew. So I would like to have Rex come up and make a couple of comments. Thank you, Chief. I told the Chief earlier, no jokes about whether I have any makeup on yet. I'm that ugly. Uh, uh, seriously, uh, we appreciate the opportunity to come before you, uh, give you a pirate's perspective. Uh, from our standpoint, the parade has gotten better and better. Last year was the best ever, and we'd like to see the same thing uh, this year. And it's in large part because of the partners uh, and community leaders you see up here uh, and the buy-in of the community and uh, the uh, South Tampa neighborhoods that have worked all together to make uh, uh, this program 
uh, an integral part of safety and fun Gasparilla. Um, what we want to do is make sure that we encourage from a pirate's perspective that everybody uh, is encouraged to uh, have fun in a responsible way, in a safe way, and uh, discourage underage drinking. And that was, that's what this program does, and you Mystic Crew is happy to be a part of it. Good luck forward to a great parade. Thanks. Tampa Fire Rescue is also a great part of uh, this event, and we can't do our job without Tampa Fire. So now I'd like to have Chief Tom Ford come up and have, make a couple comments. Thank you, Chief. And again, we're looking for a very, very uh, uh, healthy event out there on the parade route this, this, um, this season. We've partnered with all of our partners here, as you see behind me. Tampa Fire Rescue works with all of our local law enforcement partners, as well as the EMS, the crew of Gasparilla's our leadership as well. We'll also have for your, um, your use, in the event that there is any type of incidents that go on, that there's a need to know to the public, if you will go ahead and log into www.tampagov.net forward slash alert Tampa, that um, that uh, course will give you all the information that you'll need if there are any events going on out there on the parade route that everyone needs to be alerted for. Also, we're looking at some inclement weather, as you will. Uh, the National Weather Service has reported that it might be a bit cooler than what we're normally expecting. And definitely for the Children's Parade this weekend, with the coolness of the temperatures and with the winds that we're looking to entertain as well, make certain that you bundle up our little bags of joy, make certain that they have on the right cold weather gear, and be mindful of them because of their anatomy, because of their size. They can lose a lot of body heat really, really fast, and we don't want any type of cold uh, illness or cold in injuries that happen to them. But again, we're looking for a very, very successful event, looking for everyone to come out, have a great time, enjoy what the humanistic crew and the entire community has put together for our Gasparilla celebrations. And again, www.tampagov forward slash alert Tampa. Go ahead and load that on your iPhones, all of your PDAs or whatever, in the event that there is anything that goes on on the route, that you need to be made aware of, we'll make certain that you get that information. Thank you. As I mentioned earlier, gas really gets bigger and bigger every year, better and better. So to help uh, secure our waterways, I would like to have Captain Greg Case come up from the U.S. Coast Guard. Chief Ford, thanks for inviting me this morning and good morning to all of you. Um, the Coast Guard and the Coast Guard Auxiliary will work pretty closely with Tampa Police Department, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, and the Hillsborough County and Pinellas County Sheriff's Departments to ensure safety and security on the water during the Gasparilla Pirate Festival. The waterside part of this event is a lot of fun, but it can also be dangerous if you don't take steps to protect yourself while you're on a boat. The Coast Guard asked boat operators to take preventative measures to ensure their own safety, the safety of their passengers, and the safety of the other boats around them in the water. So I want to cover four quick points. Boating under the influence. Alcohol is a leading contributing factor to boating fatalities. Boating and drinking is just as dangerous as drinking and driving, and they carry similar penalties. And you can be sure that we'll have a strong presence on the water enforcing those laws. So please ensure that you have a sober driver. I want to reiterate something uh, Chief Ward said, and that goes for the water as well as the land. That's if you see something, say something. During the Gasparilla celebration, security is a top priority, and we'll have hundreds of law enforcement officers on the water, but we need the public's help. Please report any suspicious activity on the water to law enforcement officers so we can investigate and take the appropriate action. Drones. Drones continue to increase in popularity, but are best left at home during Gasparilla. Drones present both a safety and a security concern. FAA safety guidelines prohibit the use of drones over large congregations of people, such as a Gasparilla celebration. And a special local regulation. 
There'll be a special local regulation in effect from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on January 30th for the boat procession into Tampa. <clears throat> the regulation includes a provision for a no-wake zone and it closes the, the port in the sudden channel and cut D area to commercial traffic. Additionally, jet skis, kayaks, paddle boards, and other watercraft without mechanical propulsion are prohibited from the parade route. All spectator vessels must heed the direction of law enforcement vessels and stay at least 50 feet away from the official parade vessels for safety reasons. <clears throat> I have copies of our information brochure available, which includes additional information about the waterside regulated area. A safe day means an enjoyable day for everyone on the water. Thank you for helping make this another successful and fun event.